Hey, so number two, or, um, problem solving today looks a little bit different than it has in the past, but I thought it might be kind of fun to do something that had to do with fractions and multiplying them um, and relating it to Cinco de Mayo. So I know it's not a field trip, but we're going to talk about how to make tacos and how we could help if we needed to double the recipe. So um, this is what the recipe or this is what the page looks like. This is not an image like the other one. So you cannot click and drag and make it bigger. So if you need to make it bigger, you're going to have to go up to your settings and zoom in. So you could do that if you need to. Oops. Um, but you can work with it like this also. So our taco recipe says that it makes eight tacos. It says you need two teaspoons of vegetable oil. TSP means teaspoons one pound of ground beef, half a cup of onion, finely chopped, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a head of lettuce, three fourths of a cup chopped tomato, three fourths of a cup shredded cheese, some taco seasoning and eight taco shells. So it says for Cinco de Mayo dinner, your family wants to make tacos for dinner, but instead of eight tacos, your family wants 16 tacos. So how can we double the recipe? And if you were getting a little bit hung up on some vocabulary, that word double right here just means that we're going to multiply everything by two because we want to have twice as much. So if you're looking um, where all these question marks are, you should be able to click on them and it should bring up a box. Um, if you need to know which question mark it is, you can pull it off and see. So I can see that this is for my ground beef. And if I wanted to double my ground beef and I have one pound, I know that my question mark would then be that we need two pounds of ground beef. You double click on the question mark and it'll let you start typing. I'm gonna erase the question mark and I'm gonna type a two because I know that in order to double my recipe, I need two pounds of ground beef. Now, if I want to move my box back to my chart here, you're going to have to make sure you click when it's got all four arrows up, and then I can move it over. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly on there, but it needs to be kind of close. So that's what we're going to do on this taco recipe. Then on your next page, we're still talking about tacos, um, but it's some little word problems that we have. So it says, in a bowl, you add the vegetable oil, the salt, and the pepper. And I want to know how many teaspoons of ingredients are in that bowl. So you're going to have to come back. Oops. You're going to have to come back and you're going to have to look at this recipe. And you're going to have to find the vegetable oil, which I see is two teaspoons. And then I see that the salt is one teaspoon. And the pepper is half of a teaspoon. So I want to know how many... Ugh, right on my video. I want to know how many teaspoons of ingredients are in the bowl. So I'm going to need to add all three of these together. Um, it could be in a improper fraction. That means that we could just have one big fraction. It could be a whole number with some fractions. That's okay too. Um, but like before, uh, if you double click on where it says type answer here, it's a text box. So you can type um, your answer there. If you are wanting to use a fraction and you're not sure how, um, you can use the slash sign on your keyboard, or if it's easier for you to take a picture and upload the picture to the slide, that's fine too. I can't wait to see all your awesome thinking about tacos.